up salty crew welcome back to another video I am so excited about this one because I will be sharing four different breakfast ideas for you that are vegan lower carb lower they still have some carbs in them hello higher protein and a little bit higher in fat so if that is you and you like eating that way like I do then stay tuned I'm so excited you will not see any oatmeal smoothie bowls or a ton of fruit in any of these recipes because that stuff gets old after a while. I feel like every vegan has just explored all the options and different recipes that you can try making those things. And also, they just don't work for everyone. I also have an entire breakfast playlist on my channel that I will link somewhere, either down in the description, here, whatever, that you can check out if you want more breakfast ideas. But before I get into the video, if you are new here, please subscribe. Don't forget to do that by clicking the little red subscribe button down below and hit the bell icon right next to it so you're notified every time I post a new video. I'm so happy to have you guys here. Let's get into the recipes. First up, we have my favorite avocado toast with tempeh bacon. So for the tempeh bacon, you are going to steam your tempeh first. That's very important. Whenever you're working with tempeh, you need to steam it for at least 20 minutes. Otherwise, it'll have a bitter taste to it. So I'm going to cut it into thin-ish strips, maybe like a quarter of an inch, half an inch thick. And then I place it in my steamer basket and steam the tempeh for about 15 to 20 minutes. And then in the meantime, I'm going to throw together my marinade, which is half a cup of soy sauce, half a cup of water, a third or a quarter cup of maple syrup, depending on how sweet you want it two tablespoons of liquid smoke, a tablespoon of garlic powder, and half a teaspoon of smoked paprika. Then you're gonna mix that together, and once the tempeh is done steaming, you can place it in the marinade, and you want it to marinate at least an hour, or you could leave it in the fridge overnight, which is usually what I do. Once your tempeh is done marinating, we can start sauteing it in a pan. So you're gonna place the strips in the pan and then wait one to two minutes and then add in a little bit of the marinade so that the tempeh strips soak up all that flavor. And then you're going to flip it over after another couple of minutes. Let it sear on the other side and then add more marinade. And continue the process until all of the tempeh is cooked. And then obviously for avocado toast, you're gonna need a nice ripe avocado. I'm just gonna cut this in half. And I like to keep it real simple and just scoop my avocado right on my toast and then mash it with a fork and a squeeze of lemon juice. Every good avocado toast should have at least two things, a pinch of salt and some sort of acid like lemon juice or lime juice. And then you're gonna add your tempeh bacon. I also add on some tomatoes, sauerkraut, and hemp seeds for extra protein. This is my favorite breakfast ever. I have this with a matcha latte and it hits the spot. Next up, we have my famous tofu scramble. So for this, you're just gonna saute a bunch of different veggies. You can choose whichever ones you want. I like using mushrooms, and then I add in some onions and peppers. And I'm also using the shishito peppers that I got from the market that are really good. They have a different type of flavor. I don't really know how to describe it, but it's different than a bell pepper. And I added those in along with some garlic. And you're gonna saute that for a few minutes until everything is nice and tender. And then you can go ahead and crumble in your tofu. I use firm tofu and I don't press it. So you can actually use the liquid that's in there. It's totally fine. Um, and then I also add in a few handfuls of spinach. You can use frozen spinach as well. And then a few tablespoons of nutritional yeast, about a teaspoon of turmeric, a pinch of cayenne, and a few good pinches of salt and a pinch of ground pepper and I mix that all together and the secret to any good tofu scramble is a squeeze of fresh lemon juice and then you continue to saute it until most of the liquid is gone and you have yourself some delicious tofu scramble and 
it wouldn't be complete without ketchup or hot sauce. So don't forget to add that. Next up, we have a coconut yogurt bowl. So for this, you can use any coconut yogurt that you want. I'm just using So Delicious brand, the plain version of it. Uh, you can make your own. You can buy a local coconut yogurt from your area that you live in, whatever you wanna do here. And then I add on some berries and granola, some nuts, and also some nut butter. This is the Nutso nut butter that I love. It's really, really good. Has like a Nutella type flavor and of course I spilled some when I was plating this so that is me trying to clean it up and failing and then I drizzle it with some agave you can also use maple syrup to sweeten it up a bit you can add whatever you want on top of these bowls you just want to have some texture on there something crunchy some sort of fruit and I like adding nut butter and sweetener too. The last recipe is actually not even my own recipe. It is a hot for food recipe that I shared in my cookbook review. If you haven't checked out that video, you really should. They are the bean tostadas and they are so bomb. And they are a little bit higher in carbs because of the beans, but they are so good. If you really liked baked beans or beans in general, you will love this. It's a really great savory and and sweet dish. It goes really well with the garlicky sauteed greens. In the recipe, it calls for collard greens. I use kale, you can use spinach or whatever else you want. And the crunchiness from the corn tortilla mixed with the cashew sour cream and the zestiness of the onion. It is a dynamite combo. I highly recommend this recipe and I highly recommend you just buy the cookbook because Lauren killed it and I love every recipe in there. for tuning in this week. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I had a great time making it and I hope you found some inspiration from it and that you found value in it because as a vegan, breakfast can be kind of hard. And I really hope you guys have an amazing week. Take care of yourself, eat good food, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.